Sometimes pet grooming does not always go as planned. This is Snow. He's a one-year-old Akbosh and Marema mix, and he was a bit dangerous to work on, to say the least. So I've been told that this dog was turned away from the last groomer, not completed. She told me that he is aggressive for grooming and should be muzzled. The first thing I'm gonna do before I even take his collar and leash off, because in case he is aggressive, he might snap when I do that. I'm just gonna turn the water on. I just wanna see what he does. I did spend a little bit of time with him first before I started the groom. Good boy. Good boy. So I always turn the water on first on skeptical dogs like this without touching the dog. I just want him to get used to the sound. Good boy, good boy. Very good boy. Your leash is getting wet, but oh well, I guess. Okay, so now that it seems like he's not reacting too bad, I'm gonna try to take off his collar. Can I take off your collar? Come here. Can I take off your collar? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Snow. You good boy, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a car ride? I tried to give him treats. I'll try again. He doesn't seem very interested in treats. Do you want a treat? Look, it's okay. Hey, look, what's that? Good boy. No, you're very sad and upset and you don't wanna be here. Okay, it's okay, good boy. Good boy, good boy, Snow. Don't give me that side eye, okay? Please don't. So he's giving me a side eye. He's a little bit skeptical. <coughs> These little barks are kind of like, he's not being aggressive, but they're a little bit of a warning bark. Like I don't, I'm not happy to be here. So I'm gonna start spraying him from outside the shower first. See how he reacts before I get in the shower with him. His collar is going to get wet. It is what it is right now. I will see how things go and then I'll remove the collar. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. No. Hey, no. No. Good boy. So he's biting this nozzle very hard. This is not a little warning bite. This is a, I'm going to be very aggressive and I want to hurt whatever this is bite. That is not something that is acceptable. It's one thing when they bite it and it's just like a, please get that away from me. It's another thing when they bite it and they want to inflict some type of injury. So I'm gonna go grab the muzzle, put that on if I can, if he lets me get close to him. So Maremmas are livestock guardian dogs. Livestock guardian dogs in general are skeptical. They can often show aggression, um, mostly when they're on their property because they're defending their property. But in general, they are a, I don't want to say a difficult dog, but a challenging dog to own. They have a mind of their own. They don't care what their owners tell them in regards to, you know, commands. They will basically do what they want to do. So it's okay. Remember guys, a scared dog can be an aggressive dog. Doesn't mean he's an aggressive dog, but he is really scared. And when a dog is scared, they react by protecting themselves and that can be aggressive and that can be dangerous for the groomer. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 you're okay. No, he's gonna rip it off his face. Of course he is. Hey. No, good boy, good leave it. You're okay. <laughs> Boy, good leave it. Leave it. No, good leave it's it. It's off his face. You're not gonna let this go. You're not going to let bath time happen. I had one idea, and it's the only idea I have. So I tried putting the muzzle on him. He ripped it off of his face. 
um, which means I can't muzzle him because he knows how to take it off. No matter what muzzle I use, he's going to get it off of his face. Obviously, that means that this is a dangerous situation for me because I can't get close to him without potentially getting bit. He does mean business. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm going to use a watering can instead of the hose because maybe it's the hose, the stream of water that's scaring him. So I'll try with the watering can and see if he allows it. Okay, will you tolerate the watering can? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Snow. Good boy. Now the only problem is, how do I put soap on him? Good boy. No, don't go up at my hand like that. I'm not getting in there with him. It's not happening. So obviously I can't get in the shower to put soap on him, to scrub it in, to get him clean. So the owner is a friend of mine. I told her to come back. I'm gonna ask her to help me with him. Obviously he trusts her. So I'm gonna get her to go into the shower and her to work on him and see if we can get him done that way. Because for my safety, since I can't muzzle him, it doesn't make any sense for me to get into the shower with him. It's just too dangerous. This is diluted shampoo. Go in there with him, he's already wet. Um, just pour it on him, scrub it in. This part shouldn't stress him out because there's no real water going on him. Do the best that you can. I can't touch him without him trying to bite me. Really? Yeah. I tried, but... You know what? He got groomed at PetSmart like three times and he was amazing. And the last time they couldn't do it. Hmm. She called me and she's like, I can't. I can't groom your dog. So doing his paws, for example, don't think that's something that we'll be able to do. Um, just because we don't want to force him to endure something. If he was like, for example, a really mad dog, then I would force it because yeah. it needs to be done. He's a livestock guardian and they are known to be difficult. So if they decide I'm not having a bath, good luck, <laughs> basically. You're gonna need a lot more shampoo. Just like when you wash your own hair, it needs to be super, super soapy. <laughs> this poor dog. So we're not going to use a nozzle to rinse him. We're going to use a watering can yeah. because he can't tolerate the spray coming out of the nozzle. He panics. So we're gonna try something else that he won't be so panicky about. He's calm with you. So this is good, this is great. <coughs> this is what we want. So my suggestion to you would be um, to get one of those muzzles and start with muzzle training. Get him used to wearing it, because if he's used to wearing it, now it's no longer something that he has to be afraid of. And then when if he comes here and I groom him, he won't feel the need to rip it off of his face because he knows what it is. Now you're gonna take this watering can and do the best you can rinsing him. We can wash his face or we can avoid washing his face today. We're gonna get soaked. <laughs> See, he's not so terrified of that. He still doesn't like it. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Good boy. Look at all that soap everywhere. Can I have your face? You don't have to rinse it if, if he doesn't want it. Normally what I do with dogs that are nervous, I avoid washing their face until they get more comfortable with the process. It would be nice to wash it, but I mean, he's not really that dirty. Can I have the front of you? You're here, still pass me that. I'll try to rinse it from here. Yeah, you look like The best way to figure out if he is soap free is to rinse all this soap away. So then you can see whether or not soap continues to come off of him. Okay, see if um, there's any soap left in his back end that you can feel or in his tail. Think it's good? Yeah. If anything, it's gonna be the side that yeah. he's sitting on, but. Soapy? A little bit. Okay. Can you somewhat part from it? There's like drying already. Yeah, he shouldn't. Like, we should be able to get some of him dry at least. Okay, now this thing here is like a ShamWow kind of thing. So you're gonna grab the fur and squeeze, not necessarily go like this. Okay. Just kind of like. Like, you're basically squeegeeing, yeah. 
Poor guy. He's much more calm with you, though. Much more calm. Yeah, he's a sucky boy. Yeah. Mama. Obviously, with him laying down, you won't be able to dry his back end too great, but when we put him on the table, we'll go yeah. back over him. So this just helps from the noise and the air. So some dogs that are scared of the dryer will be better if they're like this. So let's see what happens, buddy. Your job is you're gonna try to keep him as calm as possible. And if he goes to bite, try to keep his face away from it. Good boy. Good boy, give him lots of praise for being good. Good boy. The way that he, um, he bites the dryer and then he spins at you, he's redirecting his stress. He, if they redirect, he could potentially bite you, so that's why I told you to go away for a minute. Right, buddy I think that's about all you're tolerating today it's okay it's okay it's okay it's too bad because I really would like to get all this hair out of you when you brush when they're dry it doesn't pull like this you know it's okay buddy it's okay buddy hey it's okay, calm down, calm down. No, livestock guardian dogs aren't for just anybody. But he's not really a dog that requires grooming. Obviously it's nice to get them groomed, but it's not a requirement. And it was kind of more so him falling all over the floor. Yeah. Oh, for his paws. Okay, so what we'll do is, it's okay. We'll at least try to do that. The brushing isn't doing anything. It's not taking his shedding hair out, unfortunately. It's like doing a little bit, but. Kind of deserves this, buddy. Okay, and just what he'll do is he'll take his front paws and try to rip it off, and that's what we don't want. So if he does do that, just grab his legs. I'll start with the front ones first. Good boy. No, good boy. You're okay, baby. Good boy. There you go. No? It's okay, oh, it's okay, it's on. okay. Okay, that one's done. Can you stand up? I don't gotta do the back one. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you're dead weight. This works better when the hair is dry, but it'll do something at least. Mom, this is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Poor guy. 
Was he like a pup when he got groomed at PetSmart? Yeah. Maybe that's... Really four months old and a few months. Like, I think four, six, and probably nine. That's really bizarre. And now he's, like, just turning a year. Why gotta be like that for? To breathe him like you're gonna kill yeah, him. Yeah, he's so scared. Well, stop trying to get it off, baby. So it's also a dangerous thing when they try to get the muzzle off because they use their nails and they can actually scratch their eyes. I've had that happen before, unfortunately, a long time ago. So that taught me that when a dog goes to take the muzzle off like that, you can't really muzzle them because even if they don't get it off, they can hurt themselves and then that's my fault, right? Because technically it happened under my care. So if you do muzzle train him, you've got to make sure you're holding his paws when you do it so that he doesn't try to rip it off of his face because a scratched eye is a terrible recovery. Okay, I think that's My disaster puppy. about all we're gonna get done today. Okay, buddy, well, I'm sorry, we tried. 